On my first practice LSAT, I scored a 148. This would have been good enough to get me accepted into Saul Goodman's alma mater. I eventually ended up with a 174 and I graduated from Harvard Law School in 2010. My name is Mehran and I am the founder and CEO of TestMax. My experience with the LSAT, both as a student and as an in-class instructor for a leading LSAT prep company led to the creation of LSAT Max. As the first comprehensive LSAT prep course available entirely on mobile and the web, our vision is to use the latest technologies to create a vastly superior and far more affordable LSAT prep experience. I hope my personal story highlights that the LSAT can open remarkable doors for you. After all, the LSAT is by far the single most important factor in law school admissions, comprising up to 80% of your application. And in this brief introduction video, I will explain how to best use LSAT Max to achieve your target score and gain admission to the law school of your dreams. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at LSAT Max. When you first enter LSAT Max, you are greeted with our full course. Every single question type and concept that appears on the LSAT has its own icon. And within these icons, you will find video lessons and homework assignments. This full course screen replaces the traditional in-class LSAT prep experience. You want to progress through these icons from top to bottom, left to right. The colored in icons indicate free sections. And below this intro to LSAT Max icon, you will see free LSAT which is the entire June 2007 LSAT. Every single logical reasoning question and logic game question has a video explanation, and you will also find liner notes for the reading comprehension section. I would also like to point out that every single question that appears inside of LSAT Max has its own message board, which will allow you to communicate directly with me, Nas, and our other LSAT instructors 24-7. We will discuss the message boards in a bit more detail very shortly, but I just wanted to point it out now so you are aware of this feature. Below the free LSAT icon, you encounter the first five lessons of our full course. These lessons are unlocked so you can get started right away. You can play the entire video by selecting the video thumbnail at the top, but you can also navigate to specific sections by using the skip to topic menu below. The Make Available Offline option on the previous screen allows you to download these video lessons in advance so you can watch them without internet access. You can also manage these downloads from our Download Manager, which we will introduce shortly. And for those of you worried about being confined to a mobile device for your LSAT prep, it's important to note that when you sign up for LSAT Max, we will ship you the hard copy materials, all of your lesson notes, homework assignments, diagnostic exams, and additional prep tests so you can simulate the paper pencil nature of the LSAT during your LSAT prep, just like a traditional class. You can also access all of your course materials, including our free content on LSAT Max Online by visiting our website, testmaxprep.com forward slash LSAT. Beyond the colored in icons, you see the grayed out icons, which are the locked portions of our full course. When you purchase LSAT Max, all of the icons will become gray and they will fill in with color as you complete them, allowing you to easily track your progress through the course. Our full course is step one of your LSAT prep journey. Once you have finished the course, you can then turn your attention to step two of the process, which is practicing under time pressure on as many real LSATs as possible. And by selecting the filter icon in the top right hand corner of the screen, you will be able to navigate to prep tests. You will also notice that the filter gives you the ability to filter the different sections that appear on the LSAT. Logical reasoning has only the logical reasoning lessons from the full course. Logic games will filter only the logic games lessons from the full course. Same is the case for reading comprehension. Also note in reading comprehension that LSAT Max includes a 12-week digital subscription to The Economist. 
Now that I've explained how to use the filter to navigate the content in the LSAT Max app, let's return to prep tests, where you will once again see the June 2007 LSAT available for free at the top of the screen. Below it, you will see every LSAT ever released since June 1991 in reverse chronological order. Within each of these icons, you will have the ability to take the full exam or do the sections individually. When you complete a full exam inside of the app, you will receive a detailed score report that breaks down your performance. While we do not recommend taking simulated LSATs inside of the LSAT Max app because the LSAT is a paper pencil exam and you want to simulate actual testing conditions as closely as possible, we highly recommend that you input your answers even for the LSATs that you take outside of our app to take full advantage of these score reports and our app's detailed analytics which we will discuss in more detail very shortly. Now that we have finished discussing the full course, the filter, and the prep tests, let's turn our attention to the left menu. You can access the left menu by selecting the three-line icon in the top left-hand corner of the screen. At the very top of the left menu, you will see your profile settings. Within this section, you can add or change your profile picture, change your exam date, create your username for our message boards, and reset your course progress. A username is required to post to our message boards. Below your profile, you will see message board. Given the importance of this feature, let's table our discussion of it for just a moment and discuss exam date, Download Manager, and Customer Support first. Right below Message Board is the number of days you have remaining until your LSAT. You can change your exam date here as well. And if you are a Sabbath Observer, Shalom. Make sure you check the Sabbath Observer box at the bottom of the screen. Next up is the Download Manager, which is where you can download our video lessons to access them without an internet connection. This is the same functionality as Make Available Offline that we encountered when viewing the video lessons in the full course. You can also delete videos you have downloaded, but please note that you cannot play the videos from this download manager. To access the videos you have downloaded, please return to the full course. Below the download manager is customer support which will launch your email and allow you to quickly contact our support staff if you have any questions while using our app. You can also call us at 855-483-7862 Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now let's turn our attention back to message boards. This section has two important functions inbox and search which we will see at the top of the screen let's discuss the inbox first the first message you see here titled homework question is a sample message that describes the message board functionality please note the at username functionality that will allow you to communicate directly with other lsat max users your inbox will keep track of any messages you have posted inside of LSAT Max, so you can easily access them. Notice that the sample message I posted while we were reviewing the June 2007 LSAT is here. When there is a response to your question, you will receive an email notification and you can return to your inbox to view the response. You can also view the actual LSAT question associated with this message board by selecting View to the right of Question at the top of the screen. Please note, however, that you will only be able to view questions that you have unlocked inside of LSAT Max. Now let's turn our attention to Search. The Search functionality inside of Message Board allows you to quickly access the message boards for specific LSAT questions. So for example, imagine I had a question on the December 2014 LSAT, Section 1, Question 24. I would compose my message by selecting the Compose icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen. If there are currently no existing message board posts for the LSAT question, 
You can also create a new message by selecting Start Discussion. Since this search feature allows you to access the message boards without viewing the actual question inside of LSAT Max, you can post to these message boards even as a free user. Remember, the December 2014 LSAT is the December 2014 LSAT, regardless of where you acquire the exam from. The Alert Instructor feature allows you to ask our LSAT instructors a question. Make sure you redeem your free Alert Instructor token when you go through the message board tutorial. When you run out of Alert Instructor support tokens, you can purchase additional ones and you will be prompted to do so when you attempt to post with Alert Instructor checked. Keep in mind that our full course students have unlimited access to our message boards, so this Alert Instructor functionality is only for free users who would like to ask us questions. If you are simply communicating with other LSAT Max students, you can post without alert free of charge. And last, but definitely not least, we encounter analytics in the left menu. This section of the app will track your performance through the course and highlight your strengths and weaknesses, allowing you to customize your LSAT prep by focusing in on your problem areas. So for example, imagine I was struggling with sufficient and necessary. From inside of analytics, I have the ability to only do sufficient and necessary questions. Please note the different sections at the top of analytics that allow you to shift between the different sections, logical reasoning, logic games, and reading comp. You can also quickly access your overall performance in each of these sections right below analytics in your left menu. And by tapping on a section, it will take you directly to that tab within analytics. And that's that. For those of you using LSAT Max on your phone, keep in mind that Apple TV or Chromecast can turn your television into your LSAT prep instructor. A few final points. Follow LSAT Max on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at LSAT Max for law school related news and the latest updates. Our Instagram account has daily drills that are a big hit, so make sure you check them out as well. Also for iOS users, we have two other free apps that you will find useful on this journey. The Law School Top 100 will help you figure out what it will take to get admitted into the law school of your dreams. You want to focus in on the 2575 LSAT scores. For example, Harvard Laws is 171 to 176. This means that 25% of admitted students score below a 171, 50% score within this range, and 25% score above. To have a realistic chance of gaining admission, you want your LSAT score to fall within this range. Our other free app is Exam Proctor, which will help you mimic testing conditions when you take your practice LSATs. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions about LSAT Max, the LSAT, or law school admissions in general. You can reach me at mehran at lsatmax.com. And just for downloading LSAT Max and registering inside of our app, you will receive our free LSAT success kit via email. So make sure you look out for it. Your success kit includes some strategy videos and a copy of our ebook, The Road to 180, The Ultimate Guide to LSAT Prep. It was written by our other LSAT instructor, Nas. If my dramatic improvement on the LSAT wasn't enough to convince you, Nas turned a 145 into a 175. You can also email her at nas at lsatmax.com. We are both wishing you nothing but the best and we can't wait to see you reach your target LSAT score and gain admission to the law school of your dreams. Your road to 180 starts now.